Here is your ever-shrinking list of manual transmissions available in America for 2022. It gets smaller every year. These are trucks, cars, and crossovers. Let's begin. BMW M3 and M4, Cadillac CT4 and 5V Blackwing, the Camaro and Sparker on there, the Challenger Ford Mustang, as well as the Bronco. Got a couple of Civics on here, an SI and hatchback. The Veloster N, Elantra N from Hyundai. The Gladiator has a stick. So does the Wrangler, of course. The Kia Forte, Forte GT Manual. Mini Cooper hardtop and convertible. The Mitsubishi Mirage, as if you'd buy one. There's also the Mirage G4, again, if you're desperate. Nissan Z, Versa. The Porsche 718, 911. A couple of Subarus on here. Love that. BRZ, Crosstrek, Impreza, WRX. A couple of... Toyotas as well, the Corolla and Hatchback, and Tacoma. So Corolla and Corolla Hatchback and Tacoma. And then Volkswagen offers the Golf, Golf GTI, and the Jetta. That is your list, the only list in America where you'll find vehicles available with a manual transmission. So hang on to it if you have one because you won't find many more as each year the list gets smaller and smaller. These are the three best Full-size pickup trucks for towing your trailer. According to Car and Driver, the F-150 takes the crown for being the best towing full-size pickup truck. It's got a number of engine options. You probably know that. Normal gasoline power to the impressive hybrids, plus real-time towing and payload scales that weigh your loads as you load up. The base F-150 comes the 290 horsepower, 3.3 liter turbocharged V6, 400 pound-feet of torque. It's paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission. With this combo, the rear-wheel drive can tow up to 8,200 pounds. The same pickup truck with the 5-liter V8 can pull 13,000. And if you step it up to the twin turbo, 3.5-liter V6, 400 horsepower, 500 pound-feet of torque, which means 14,000 pounds of towing. That's why it's number one. And your second-place pickup truck winner is the Chevy Silverado 1500. Here are the numbers. 277 horsepower, Duramax 3-liter inline 6 turbo diesel. That's for 9,300 pounds. Or you can go for the 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque, 6.2-liter V8. With that engine, you can get 13,300 pounds. That's why it's second place. Technically, this is tied with the GMC Sierra 1500, but technically, they're the same truck. And rounding out the top three to tow your trailer, the Ram 1500. Here are the numbers. 5.7 liter V8 Hemi, 395 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque, good for 12,750 pounds. The Ram also has a diesel option. There's the V6 Eco Diesel that the Ram shares with the Jeep Gladiator. This engine makes 480 pound-feet of torque, the highest of all half-ton diesel trucks. It can still pull 12,560 pounds, falling just short of the Hemi. So for that list, it is no wonder why the F-150 is the best-selling pickup truck on the market. For good reason, those numbers speak volumes. This is the most bogus lawsuit I have ever heard against a manufacturer. BMW is being sued or facing a $5 million lawsuit for defective cup holders. A cup holder, because of a cup holder, Someone suing BMW, $5 million, a cup holder. This massive class action lawsuit is based on the X7's cup holders claiming they're defective. Here's the allegation. The cup holders don't do their job because they weren't designed to hold cups that contain liquid. They're being sued by Bright K Consulting. So Bright K Consulting is suing BMW and nine other unknown defendants for fraud and deceit breach of warranty, negligence, and five or six other additional related charges to cup holders. All right, according to the lawsuit, quote, the cup holders in the class vehicles are designed defectively because they are not designed nor intended to actually hold cups filled with liquid. When liquid spills into the cup holder, the wires for the SRS airbag control module, which sits directly underneath the cup holder, get wet and or damaged causing damage to the airbags. As a result, the airbags can inadvertently deploy, end quote. This lawsuit has the potential to be huge, gigantic, because it possibly affects every X7 ever produced. The car directly related to this lawsuit is owned by someone named Fang Lin. 
A 2020 BMW X7 M50i purchased new in December 2019. The lawsuit also alleges that BMW knew about the problem due to similar complaints noted in the lawsuit. Knowing the truth and motivated by profit and market share, the defendant, BMW, has knowingly and willfully engaged in the acts and or omissions to mislead and or deceive the plaintiff and others similarly situated, according to this, the document. So BMW has yet to comment on the situation. Do you want to comment on the situation? Being sued for defective cup holders because they weren't designed to be cup holders that hold liquid? Are you kidding me? Comment below. This is ridiculous. On a much lighter and unrelated note, the Kia Telluride has been named Edmunds top rated SUV of the year for the third year. Year on year sales of the Telluride are up 35%. Well, this is some big news, my friends. Toyota has unveiled an electric truck to compete with the F-150 Lightning and that Rivian R1T. So Toyota has unveiled more than a dozen electric vehicles it plans to build, including, yes, a pickup truck. This is the first time we're seeing what Toyota's upcoming electric truck may look like. Interesting picture here. Kind of looks kind of cool. I like it. It's part of Toyota's $70 billion investment into green vehicles and technology. Are we to thank Elon for all of this? It seems like so. So we've known for months that Toyota has been planning to unleash an electric pickup truck sometime soon. Well, Tuesday of this week, the company shared how it could look when it comes to fruition. So during an event laying out its global push into electric vehicles, it took the wraps off more than a dozen of these uh, future SUVs, sedans, and sports cars, and tucked away in the back corner was one of the most exciting prospects of them all. A yet-to-be-named truck. How about the Everyman Toyota truck? I know, it's kind of silly, right? Now, Toyota hasn't released any details about this, like when it'll arrive, how much it'll cost, how big it'll be. It wouldn't make sense to launch an electric version of the Tundra to compete with the uh, F-150 Lightning, maybe even the Chevy Silverado EV, but this pickup looks more like it's Tacoma size, little taco size more than a, a Tundra. Now this could be a smart move because the Tacoma, the gas powered version, crushes all other mid-sized pickup trucks in US sales, while the full-size Tundra isn't nearly as popular as its rivals that are out of Detroit. So right now the only pickup truck electric that you can buy in a mid-size is that R1T, the inaugural truck from that startup company, Rivian. So what do you think about this new look that could be the future of Toyota electric vehicles. I like the way it looks. It looks sharp. It looks like it can do some damage off-road and make a, make a good run for its competitors in terms of sales. I like the way it looks. Your comments are encouraged and demanded below this video. Can't wait to see what you have to say. I'll jump in there as well. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cr click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time. Hey, I want to let you know about a new feature on everymandriver.com. It's a car payment calculator you can use anytime when you're trying to figure out what your potential loan amount is and the monthly payment figure. So what you do is you type in the vehicle price, your down payment, trade-in figure, sales tax, interest rate, and the term of the loan. Click calculate and then you'll figure out the loan amount and the monthly payment. It's a free tool now available on everymandriver.com.